We have uh, some breaking news now, and we can report some more details about Chris <laughs> Cabber's background. Uh, yesterday, as you'll uh, remember, a Met Police firearms officer was cleared of his murder. Let's go to uh, Martin Brunt, who is uh, just outside the Old Bailey and uh, has uh, more of this uh, extra detail that can now be reported. Martin? Yes, in the last few minutes, a judge has lifted uh, a reporting restriction on... Um, broadly Chris Cabber's background, details that we were banned from reporting during Martin Blake's trial. So we can now tell you um, more about Chris Cabber's uh, gang links, his violent past uh, and his previous convictions. Um, one thing um, we can tell you is that one of the details kept from the jury um, during the trial was that after he was shot, Chris Cabber was found with a balaclava in his pocket um, and there was also gun residue on the sleeve of uh, of his top um, police did say that that could possibly have come from one of the firearms officers um, involved in that operation in which police shot dead chris cabber um, the details of chris cabber's background had already been the subject of legal argument before martin blake's trial uh, the defense argued that the jury should know uh, more about his background. The prosecution uh, argued that none of that detail should go before the jury and the judge agreed with the prosecution. So all of what I'm about to tell you uh, was not known to the jury. The judge argued that it wasn't relevant uh, to what happened on the night and in fact the police didn't know when they stopped Chris Cabber's car that Chris Cabber was the driver. So, let me tell you this. Police intelligence had suggested that Cabber was a core member of a notorious South London gang, the 67 gang. Um, he was named in a trial earlier this year as the gang's... Uh, a, 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 a trial in which he was described as the gunman who shot a rival twice in the leg in a nightclub attack a week before he was shot dead by police. He'd arrived at the nightclub in the Audi Q8 car in which he was stopped and shot um, two years ago. And he would have stood trial, uh, as others were put on trial, charged with attempted murder after that nightclub shooting. Um, in the legal argument before this latest trial, the defence had described Chris Cabber as the principal gunman of the 67 gang, um, a gang involved in a very violent uh, dispute, long-running dispute with a rival gang that had led to numerous, numerous uh, gun discharges, stabbings and murders, according uh, to Martin Blake, the, the police officer on trial, his defence barrister. There was more legal argument um, before Martin Blake's trial uh, over um, the defence wanting uh, his anonymity kept. In the end, we were allowed to name him, but not to picture him. The defence had claimed in that legal argument that Martin Blake's life was at risk um, as the gang, the 67 gang, of, of which Cabba was uh, allegedly a core member, might want to identify the officer uh, and try to kill him in revenge for him shooting dead Chris Cabba. Ten days after his death two years ago, Chris Cabber was due in court, a civil hearing, um, in which police were hoping to apply for a, what's known as a gang injunction. This is something that's used to restrict uh, the activities of somebody thought to be a gang member and involved uh, in violence. Now, Chris Cabber's previous convictions, again, all this uh, was kept from the jury. Um, in 2005, he was convicted of a fray and possession of an offensive weapon, a belt. Uh, in 2017, Chris Cabber was jailed for four years for possession of an imitation gun. And in 2020, uh, five months jail he got for failing to stop and for possession of a knife. Now, what does all this mean? Uh, why was it kept from the jury? Um, well, as I said, the police on the night that Chris Cabber was shot didn't know it was Chris Cabber who was driving the car. 
so it should have played no part in what unfolded and uh, uh, his, his being shot dead. Um, but if the jury had known those details, um, the argument was that it might have given the defence case an edge, an advantage. Um, if the jury had known uh, about Chris Cabber, uh, they might have been more sympathetic to the officer's defence, um, the defence of Martin Blake who shot him dead. Um, but as I said, Martin Blake and all those firearms officers on the night, they decided to stop Chris Cabber's car because it was suspected of having been involved in a gun incident the night before. They didn't know that Chris Cabber uh, was the driver.